Water the mouth. Prepare food for swallowing. Initiate food digestion. That's the job of your saliva. It's not just for dribbling out of the corner of your mouth while you sleep. Without saliva, you wouldn't be able to enjoy any of the flavors of your meal. But how exactly does it help us taste food? And how can just half an eyedropper's worth of saliva spell out your entire genetic blueprint? 99.5% of your saliva is water. The other half percent is made up of electrolytes, mucus, white blood cells, epithelial cells, and complex protein molecules called enzymes. Although there aren't very many of these enzymes in your saliva, they're essential for you to digest your food. What were we saying about tasting food? All oh, right, you can't do that without your saliva. But wait, aren't the taste buds responsible for this sensation? Well, your taste buds may be responsible for your sense of taste, but without your food being dissolved in saliva, the receptors on your tongue can't detect food molecules. Try it yourself. Just wipe your tongue with a paper towel and the most delicious cake in the world would seem tasteless. Go ahead, I'll wait. This is because enzymes in your saliva break down the structures of foods and release food molecules. Molecules that are then ready to be picked up by your taste bud receptors. These receptors identify each flavor and send signals to your brain to let you know whether the food you're eating is salty, sweet, or bitter. Similar to the enzymes in your saliva, bromelain, the enzyme in a raw pineapple, breaks down proteins on your tongue and lips. Essentially, pineapple is digesting the inside of your mouth. Does that change your mind about eating pineapples? Let's go back to your saliva. Just like the enzymes, the mucus in saliva is important too. It coats the oral mucosa, the skin inside your mouth, protecting it from trauma during eating, swallowing, or even speaking. Thanks to mucus, food doesn't stick to the inside of your mouth. Instead, it slides easily all the way down to your stomach. And your spit contains a natural painkiller, a chemical compound called opiorphin. It's six times stronger than morphine, at least when blocking pain in lab rats. Even though it's found in your saliva, the concentration of opiorphin isn't high enough to reduce pain just by licking where it hurts. And of course, your saliva can tell so much about you. A single spit contains a load of genetic information that can easily be decoded with a DNA test. It's not just about tracking your ancestry. Your saliva can warn you about potential genetic diseases so that you can take better care of your health. Saliva testing is also reliable when measuring your hormones. And unlike blood testing, saliva collection is absolutely painless. Your watery saliva might taste like nothing, but it lets you fill your mouth with flavors, helps to swallow, initiates digestion, and carries gigabytes of your personal information. There's much more to discover about your amazing body. Stay tuned. You still here? Then here's a fun fact. On average, you produce 30 milliliters of saliva every hour. That's 20,000 liters in a lifetime, enough to fill 53 bathtubs to the brim. Have fun with that.